we see uh, fall arrest and fall restraint talked about quite a bit, and it seems like there is some misunderstanding sometime between the two. When I'm working in fall restraint, what I like to describe that is I'm like a dog on a leash. I have a fixed length connector going back to an anchor point that is set in such a way that when I'm using it and I have that extended out to its maximum length of travel, I can't get to that hazard. If I'm working next to an edge, I can't get my feet, I can't get my butt over that edge. There's no way I can fall. My, my system is actually set up to catch me and protect me before I have a chance to fall. My anchor points don't have to be as strong. My system is a lot easier to set up. It's a lot easier to train for. And rescue is really, really simple. If somebody falls when they're, when they're in fall restraint, they can simply stand back up because they should be on the same level that they were walking on already. It's a very, very simple system. When we move to fall arrest, the systems and the components that you're connected to are doing absolutely nothing for you until after you go off that edge, until after you fall. And once you fall, they should be designed so that they stop you before you can hit a lower level or the ground, and then arrest that fall and bring those forces down to an acceptable level, which is 1,800 pounds by OSHA or an average of either 900 or 1,350 pounds by ANSI, depending on what, what product it is. Fall restraint in Oregon, we need 3,000 pound anchors. In fall arrest, we need 5,000 pound anchors or two to one safety factor. So I have the correct anchors. What happens after the fall? Do I have systems set up so that I can rescue the person who's just fallen? Does everybody understand that there might be some swing fall involved and that they're further down than they thought they might be because they were off to the side and they were able to have a swing fall. So there's a lot more that has to be done. There's a lot higher level of training that has to go on with fall arrest than there is with fall restraint. When you think about it, would you rather get stopped before you fall over the side or would you rather get stopped and have that harness tighten up on you in a very uncomfortable way? So when it's feasible and when you can do that, I think that the idea is, to me, this is part of that hierarchy of controls, right? If we can stop somebody from actually falling over the edge and not have to recover them, I think that's gonna be beneficial. It's gonna be faster, it's gonna be safer for your employees and probably a lot easier for them to work. So I definitely think there's benefits to using that over fall arrest.